tail of the tape. Miguel Tamayo is five years the senior of Gary Russell. He's got a little bit of a reach advantage, but Russell, very quick puncher. Don't know whether Tamayo is going to be able to match his speed. It'll be Russell's job to get inside of Tamayo. Although Tamayo says, I'm going to be right there. I'm coming to him. So that's the matchup between those two. With that, we are set to go. Our first fight of the evening, we'll take him to the center of the ring. And the ring announcer, David Diamante. David. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Barclay Center here in Brooklyn, New York for Golden Boy Live. Our first bout of the evening is scheduled for eight rounds in the super featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he wears black with purple and silver. He weighed in officially at 126 and one half pounds. His professional record, 14 victories, 7 defeats, 2 draws, 12 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Damas y caballeros de Obregón, Sonora, México, Miguel Yaki Tamayo. Tamayo. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. He wears white with gold trim. Official weight, 126 and three-quarter pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 23 fights, 23 victories, 13 of his wins coming by way of knockout. From Capitol Heights, Maryland, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. Russell Jr. Okay. Tráemelo, tráemelo. Come on, Gary. Bájate esto para verte el ombligo. Okay, I gave you guys the instructions of this. Okay, you're not going to get camerino. I'm going to have a good fight, okay? A good fight. At this time, touch him up, and let's get popping. So with that, we are set to go. Our first fight of the evening, and uh, I don't Bobby, know. Ready? You got to think that Gary Russell is going to come right after this guy, just based on the way he feels. Based on the way he feels, uh, he doesn't want to be in here long. He said it himself. And um, also, uh, Tamayo, you know, he's a veteran guy, but he's a guy who's been gotten out of there before, so we'll, we'll see. Here's one thing I know. Every guy I've ever come across whose name is Yaki is a tough guy. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you know, the referee set the tone. Let's get popping. So That's let's see right. what popping happens. All right, we'll see who pops first here. Battle of two southpaws. And Russell does have one-punch knockout power. I guess the big question I would have about Russell, he's fought 23 times. He's ranked number three. It's a pretty good right hook right there by Tamayo. And he's on the doorstep, but he's been on the doorstep for a long time. Yeah, you know, the, some layoffs, um, you know, some nondescript opposition at times. Then he steps it up and seems like he's on the doorstep, and then he ends up taking some layoffs. Who knows? But right now, he's got to get consistent. He's popping the jab right now in this fight. But um, should he get by this fight successfully, you'd like to see him up some more consistency in his career. He's got to worry about first things first. Very fast hand. It took another good right hand from Tamayo and another one. Some, some of the fastest hands in boxing, Gary Russell. And Russell mentioned that at the, you know, fighters uh, meeting earlier uh, this week and talked about being off and, and overcoming low adversity. And now that he's focused and he's back and he's want to make that run to the championship, world championship title. Well, he is just a fight away, but he's been a fight away for quite a while. Good shot to the body with the right hand. To Tamayo's credit, he's battling him here in this first round. Hey, Yaki came to fight. And Yaki's working that right hand uh, softball stance, you know, uppercut, right hook. You know, he's throwing more than one punch, and, and, you know, that's something that you want to see early in a fight. Like the jab on Russell. Quick, sharp jabs to the point. When he uses that, he keeps low, Yaki off balance. And he is, as we said, you can't emphasize enough. Fast hands, that's his long suit. Yeah, see, notice uh, Tamayo has words, oh, combination of prison pizza on his shorts. <laughs> I don't know if that's an editorial. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Paulie, I mean, both of these guys are really trying to set the tone uh, for the rounds to come because you know, they, they giving and taking, and also, you know, they they making a, each, each guy try, has to has to really earn uh, a, a punch that they're going to get in. Oh, that was a good right hand. hand. I don't 
was just going to say, nobody's backing up, but that right hook made Tamayo back up quickly. That's funny. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> and now it's Russell all over Tamayo and a good uppercut right there. Tamayo says, okay, let's go. Tamayo's known for taking good shots, so I don't look for this uh, Tamayo to be, you know, down and out with one shot. It takes accumulated punches to really get a guy out, especially a guy like Tamayo who can take a good punch, as we just saw. Yeah, he looked like he made him want to fight more. Well, Tamayo, his record could be a little bit deceiving as we come to the end of the first round. 14 to 7 officially, but we saw some records that said 28 to 7. So it just depends on what you believe. Well, tonight's boxing on FS1 is brought to you by Corona La Cerveza Mas Fina. And by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Actually, a pretty competitive first round, I thought. Yeah, yeah. You see some action from that first round. A right hook to the body. And Tamayo firing right back. He didn't get anything in there. A nice right hook to the body. Both guys actually didn't shy away from the body punches in that first round. That's really interesting you were going to make that comment about nobody taking a backward step. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. And then the next punch, of course, drove Tamayo under the ropes. Yeah, you know, it seems like they're, they want, each guy wants the other guy to earn the real estate. It seemed like that right hook now. Tamayo may still be thinking about it as he's the one trying to box on the back foot a little bit. Let's see how the round Russell, opens up. Nothing if not a heavy-handed puncher. Yeah, and of course, those kind of sharp shots you don't see coming will surprise you. And he landed it clean. And also, each guy is making another guy work uh, just as much as uh, the other guy because they, they don't want them to think that they get an advantage. And every time Russell get a good shot in, Tamayo also respond and try to throw a punch too. You see a sharp counter left hand over the top of Tamayo's jab. Russell now starting to get the timing on that jab by Tamayo, and that's what you want to start seeing as you as the rounds open up. Not only can you lead with speed, but can you encounter with speed. Let's see if Russell starts to pick up on that. Well, tonight's copy box stats are brought to you by ThrowdownFantasy.com. Draft fighters, track stats, and win. Copy box. Russell just threw a beautiful combination that ended the last right hand to the body. Got to Miles' attention. And Russell has all the skills. Here's those fast hands again. Yeah, four punch combination. That's the thing. If you got a guy who's tough and he's going to stay in there and he's going to take your offense, show him he's outclassed. Good right hand that time. Drove. Well, don't, sideways. don't take a rock of sciences to know who's faster and who has the better combinations. And I think Russell is going to exploit that. I think he's going to let his hands go as the rounds go. Doing that pretty well here in the second round. A good body shot by Russell. Well, this is the thing. Every time I see Russell, I think he's got all the skills. He's just not moving. Yeah, and that's the thing right there. You know. A guy like Tamayo maybe not make, may not make Russell pay for being in the pocket all the time, but Russell's fast enough where he can be in the pocket, land his offense, and be out of the pocket. And maybe in this fight, he wants to just walk his man down and be the bully and be the boss, and he is. A great double right hook there. Yeah, sure was, and that one got Tamayo's attention. Oh, that was a good right hand by Tamayo. But there will be times where Russell will need to not stay in the pocket, need to land those fast combinations and show he can step around or get out of the pocket. And then we'll, we'll see how he steps up the ladder if he starts working on those things. To Tamayo's credit, he's fighting him. Yes, he is, but, you know, Russell's throwing some thunderous right hooks. You know, those type of shots is like, I'm trying to get you out of there, and they sharper, they crisp, and they're the shots that normally do a lot of damage later on. Exactly. Exactly. And they'll also convince the opponent that he is outclassed. That's and what again, Russell's trying to do right now. Four-punch combination finished with a straight left hand. Ten seconds remaining in this second round, and a much better round for Russell, but a very competitive fight. We're coming back to the Barclays Center right after this. Action from that last round. Action from, action from that last round is Russell Jr. throwing the combination here.
Tamayo working his way inside, trying to get his hands in there. But you'd see a, some competitiveness going. You know, Russell's certainly the more talented fighter, but Tamayo not backing down, even if he may be losing the rounds. No, absolutely. He's, he's battling him. There's no question about it. And, and let's not lose sight of the fact that Russell is just getting over the flu. So the further this fight goes, you might think perhaps the edge goes a little bit to Tamayo. I use the word perhaps. You know. Yes. Well, I think Russell's winning the fight, but I don't think it's by, you know, it's too early, and I don't think it's about landslides. Some close rounds and, you know, competitive uh, back and forth. You know, I think as the fight goes on, that's when it's really going to really taper down to see who's the superior fighter. That was a right hand of the body and a right hand of the head, and a left hand of the head, and that drives Tamayo into the ropes. Tamayo says, come on, but I think he definitely, that Russell got the attention of Tamayo. Got the attention. He's got a good chin. But the, you gotta love the speed and explosiveness of Russell. Some guys are fast. This guy's fast and explosive. Yeah, he is. As we said, he's got one-punch knockout power, and we've seen that. Mayo, good beard there. He, he woke him up. But again, Russell can show you he can pounce on a dime. He, he can go from a slow pace to s charging up the pace very, very quickly. I watched Tamayo's legs when he got hit. Didn't wobble. You know, it looked like he was hurt, but he came forward after second or two and then still has his bearings. But yes. I, I think it's accumulation of those Russell combinations, Paulie, that's going to be effective later. Absolutely, X. You know, sometimes not every clean shot you take will hurt you, but it certainly will get your attention. It seemed like that didn't hurt him, but it certainly got his attention. And uh, maybe it didn't hurt him in that moment, but like you said, the accumulation, I mean, in the long run, taking shots like that will put you down. And Russell also working the body very effectively, in the, particularly in this round. But every now and then, Tamayo lets Russell know he's there. So Russell has to still stay alert to, to that defense. I like the way Russell's working a jab. He's setting him up. Now you got the quick left hand over the top. I mean, he's pop shot him now, Paula. You know about that. Here's the four, five, six punch combination. That is something that just can't be coached. Throwing punches and bunches like that as quick as he does. I don't see any indication that he's that he's sick. He did say he was at the tail end of it, but yeah. but to quote him exactly, it's kicking my butt, he said. It was the first thing he said to us. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. It's so true that he said it was at the tail end, so maybe he's over it. I'll tell you, it was funny at Monday's press conference when he said he had the flu, you saw the fighters try to get away from him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, well, nobody wanted to catch anything from him. The way he's fighting so far, Paulie. I want that type of flu yeah, when I exactly. fight because I'm telling you, he's calling these yeah. combinations. Whatever he's <laughs> got, I hope he gives it to me. <laughs> We're coming to the end of the third round here. This is scheduled for eight. Russell just kind of doing his thing against a tough competitor. We'll be back. <laughs> this is round four of a scheduled eight-round fight. Barry Tompkins, Paulie Malinaji, Bernard Hopkins alongside, telling you about it from the Barclays Center. Super Bowl week here in New York City. And so far, we're having some super rounds here because it's give and take action from both fighters. And, you know, I'm very interested to see how Russell start really now executing and try to put more damage on his opponent, uh, Tolato. So I, I think this now he's going to step it up a little bit because he's coming forward and he's throwing harder shots. Good shot with the right hand right there, right to the chest. Russell trying to mentally pressure Tamayo as well as physical. You know, the physical pressure comes from the punches and you know, pushing him back. The mental pressure comes from constantly cutting him off and being in front of him. And you can see the power. And there's a great right hand, and now Tamayo's in trouble. And this time his legs did go. And now the right hand drops it. I mentioned a combination. Paulie building up. I mentioned that it looks like he wants to stop him. It looks like he wants to put the pressure on. And I think the fight's over. The corner's stopping the fight. I see the corner stopping the fight. It's over. It's over. I mean, every time you see Gary Russell Jr. You say this guy's got the goods. Yep, yep. And I would say that again tonight. And I mentioned the word explosive That's last round. How you execute the plan. And I, and I felt Paulie when he came out the way his demeanor, the way he stepped in, he put the hardest shots in. And and I mean that's the results you get once you take that that chance and really get your guy on that point where you want to get him out of it. He got, he got more accurate uh, with the combinations. He got more confident. This round he really came out to walk his man down, got Absolutely. in his head, both physically and mentally. And then that explosive left uh, right hook. Right. Yeah, you know the other thing about him, he's got he's got every punch in the book. 
He throws a really solid jab. He throws it very quickly. It was a very good shot to the chest that I thought really slowed Tamayo up, and then he came with the right hook. And he doubles up with the, with the punches. You know, it's not always one hand or the other hand. It doubles up. He's creative with the combinations. I want to see this kind of work now if he can step it up and still be able to look as well, good, as explosive. Then, the, then you'll really know he's the goods. He's very talented. Now I mean, you want to see him against world-class opposition. Where can I buy that flu? That's it. Yeah, that's story. right. That's right. Go up and kiss him. You know, that'll do it. <laughs> Let's take a look at uh, some action from the end of that last round here, Pauly. Here we go, Russell. Offensive, and it's a muster behind those shots. You now he senses the end. And there's a, a right hook just uh, doubled it up. A lot of times when Russell doubles that right hook, he's only touching with the first one on the shoulder or the body. You see, it's, it's just an arm punch, that first one, kind of to get the arm to drop off the head, and then he can open up the head shot just like that. It, that that's how you double up a real quick punch. Just touch with the first one and, and put all the all the whip on the second one. And, and Russell does it consistently. He does it a lot when he doubles up those hooks, and he did it there. Yeah, exactly. And that was the finishing one. There was a hook prior to that that drove Tamayo across the ring that set him up for that. But, I mean, this guy seems to me to have all the goods, and, and I would have to think what's next for him is you a know, shot at a title. Yeah, you, and it's, ex it's exciting to think about him versus the world-class guys at this weight class. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's go up to David Diamante, and we'll make it all official. Here you go. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eddie Claudio calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and four seconds of round number four. Your winner by knockout and still undefeated from Capitol Heights, Maryland, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. So there he is, Gary Russell Jr. He beat a very tough hombre in Miguel Tamayo, uh, who came here to fight him. He didn't try to run, he didn't try to hide, and uh, in the end, Gary Russell did what he's done 23 times previously, and added another knockout to his record as well. So he's now 24 and 0. As we take a look at our final punch that numbers, they're brought to you by throwdownfantasy.com. Draft fighters, track stats, and win. And Gary Russell, you can see, almost tripled up in the amount of punches. Uh, amount of connections, I should say, through 205 punches in just over four rounds. High connect percentage. Uh, I'm going to give him an A. Yeah, yeah. He did what he was supposed to do against his level of opponent. And he had a guy who he had to convince wasn't on his level. Tamayo came out the.